Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockCharts.com. It is Thursday, November 21st, and you're tuned in to Don't Ignore This Chart. Today we're going to look at Gentiva Health Services because it has what I consider to be a classic surge and correction sequence. First of all, you got the big surge in July and into early August, and that produced a breakout. And then you have a correction kind of like an A, B, C, if you will, that formed a falling wedge. And we know the ABC correction is associated with Elliott Wave. Also associated with Elliott Wave is the distance of the correction. You can see it hit that 62% retracement with a sharp decline on November, which was with high volume. Now, what's also interesting is that despite this sharp decline, the stock immediately firmed moved back above 11, firmed again, and then advanced the last three days. And that kind of caught my eye. You can see Tuesday's advance was on above average volume. So what we have here is basically three days of relative strength, a inability to follow through on the downside, and that wedge is still alive, and it's still a potential correction. And if we can get a breakout at 12, that would end the wedge and signal a continuation of the July-August advance. So that's what to look for in this health services company. Note that they are underperforming the market and the healthcare sector. Uh, relative weakness is not a good sign, so let's see that breakout before taking this move seriously. And that's it for today's Don't Ignore This Chart. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day.